most disappointed in is we're not playing physical the way that I expect our football team and the way we expect for to be. Uh, being a physical football team, we, we haven't done that these last two weeks. And um, I would say, just to put it all in a nutshell, is uh, we're not fundamentally sound right now. And that's what's getting us beat. Uh, too many missed tackles. It'll be interesting to see how many we had this week. Last week we had 21. Gave up big plays, and this week we had we had a lot, and it gave us some big plays, and it'd be interesting once we see the film how many. But um, and that was disappointing because we put a big emphasis on that in practice, um, wrapping up and getting guys down, and, and we didn't do a good job at it. So that was very disappointing. What did you tell the team after? Yeah. Uh, I just told them that we we're not going to put our head down and, and just call it call it. Sleeves up, and we're gonna keep working, you know, because we know we have a good football team. We got to do things that winning football teams do, you know, not turn the ball over, tackle well, you know, be invisible. And, and we're not doing that thing. And I told them that I believe in, I believe in every last one of them, and I believe in this football team, you know, and our goal is still there ahead of us to win the Sun Belt Championship. But we got a lot of work to do before we can get there. And, and it's my job to, to see to it that we evaluate our program in every aspect to make sure we. Calling the right plays, we got the right guys in the right uh, position, and um, everybody's carrying their weight. Do you feel like a loss like this can hurt the program in the long run? Uh, I think it depends on how you look at it. Not in the long run. I mean, I think for us, I mean, it's a process, and, and we're not going to give up. You know, um, I think we can learn from this. You know, we can learn from this game and, and, and move forward. You know, because we go and win the rest of it, it won't even matter. You know, so. Everything is in front of us. It's up to us, you know. Um, everybody's giving us everything. Our fans is giving us everything. Uh, our administrative staff is giving us everything. It's all on us now. I mean, we gotta look within each other and, and ourselves first and see if we're doing everything within our power to see to it that we are doing what it takes to win. Starting with each individual first, you know. Um, Cause we have everything we need. Here. We, just, we just gotta put it together. Coach, um, can you uh, tell us about um, the diagnosis for Brandon Dowdy? Um, don't know yet. He's gonna get an MRI and check on his knee. What about uh, what about uh, Marcus Vasquez? Do you, do you know anything on him? Yet? Not yet. I mean, that was right there at the end, so I haven't heard anything on him yet. Can you take us back to K one's interception down at the twenty yard line? Uh, he was a little late with the throw. Mm -hmm. you know, it held him a little long. The guy came off and stepped right in. Step right in there and pick it off. It was late. I'm sure both those guys were ready to play, so Brandon going down probably really didn't change your game plan much. Yeah, it, it, it changed things. Uh, yeah. we were playing, well, I was planning on starting Brandon. He was going to start the entire game. And it was unfortunate he went down. That's kind of luck we've been having here lately. And, uh, again, that was disappointing, but I, I feel like K1 can get it done. And uh, we, we need somebody else to step up. We're not, we don't have that yet. What was Brandon's reaction when he went down? I mean, I know I'm sure he was really disappointed, but you know, like, what, what did you tell him when you know, he pretty much knew he wasn't going to play the rest of the game? Well, uh, I didn't know at first, but then I didn't say he was out. You know, he's keep his head up. You know, that's all he can do now. There's nothing else we can do. Um, it happened. Keep our head up. And, and God got to step up, you know, and told the team to step up and make the play. He went down. And, um, now let's play for K-1. What do you think of K1's play tonight? He had over 200 yards, over 20 completions, two touchdowns. Think he looked pretty good? Uh, it was good enough. We lost. You know, I don't think anyone played well. Anybody played well. We lost the ball game. You know, and he had some critical turnovers. You know, those things have been haunting him since he's been here. You know, those things that we got to get corrected. You know, we're not going to have a good football team until we start uh, taking care of the football and we start wrapping. Defensive standpoint, you look at the first game we made tackles. We didn't miss tackles, you know, and everyone was all rah, rah, about our defense. But because we played defense like we're supposed to in these last two ball games, we just haven't been tackling well at all, and it's really been hurting us. Coming after the after the UK game, whenever the defense played so well, and then obviously last week was an exception because the offense was so unconventional. But do you feel like the team's making progress that you like to see, or just what are you seeing out of the team, especially the defense? 
Well, uh, these last two football games, we haven't made progress if you go by statistics. Uh, we haven't. You know, uh, we got to do better. Than, and we're better. We're better than what we did out there. We're better than what uh, we showed. And I thought this game was one of those trap games. And uh, when we got down, I thought our guys were shocked. I thought they were really shocked and didn't respond to it well at all. You know, but it's kind of what happened when you don't have a team that hadn't had won in a while. You know, we got to learn to deal with those situations in a positive way, you know, and that's, we got to find some way to keep that positive um, attitude around our football team because there's a lot of negative around it, and when it's negative around it's hard to, to do anything positive. Is that something you're worried about, that they, they just, they're not used to winning so they don't maybe don't know how to win? Is that something that worries you? Well, we don't know how to win. We're trying to teach it, and we got to keep working until we learn how to win, you know, and again, yeah, that's what you say in this football team. We, we don't know how to win yet. It's going to come. And uh, I'm not worried about them getting down at all. Just all oh, what, what what I want for my football team, other than playing fundamentally sound and being a good over there, is I want somebody to step up on game day and be a great leader. And we still don't have that yet. And that's disappointing. Um, we need someone to, to go out and carry this football team on their back and, and make plays that they're capable of making when they can. And we don't have that right I think they're on our team. I do, but um, they're just not doing it. Seemed like th until the end of the game, offense loss had a lot of trouble creating some holes for Bobby. Uh, obviously, wouldn't want their strong performances. Any spots in particular in that line do you think are going to look at particularly well this thing? Yeah, we bought on that line. I was, again, disappointed. We're, we're a running physical football team. In the last two teams, I felt like we should have dominated in the run game, and, and we haven't. That is so disappointing. It's frustrating when you get out there and Bobby get hit in the back. Back it's frustrating when it's fourth and one, and we can't get the first down. That is frustrating. That's just disappointing. That's unacceptable. You know, um, especially we're going to be the football team. We say we're going to be. We can't go get a first down. That's it's not good. You know, fourth and one, and we can't get it. How much does this one burn for you, coach? Considering you, you know you're familiar with Indiana State. I mean, this was this would be considered. A Bad loss for you guys when you both teams were in the gateway. Um, it, I said, told you guys before that it was a different Indiana State team than um, to what we was accustomed to seeing. And I told you we had to play our best ball game if we wanted to win this ball game, but we didn't. You know, and, and um, again, this is, this Indiana State team is totally different than what I was accustomed to seeing, coaching against, or playing against. And, and um, we had to play our best ball game. It's, it's disappointing because it's, it's more disappointing because I felt like it's a game that we can win. And we wanted to win at home. You know, it's, um, we need to do that. You know, and our, our fans deserve that. And I appreciate them all showing up. And you know, they decide not to come. I can understand that too. And again, it's, it's on our football team. Um, provide that for them. You know, like I said, they've given us everything. They've given us the support. And we appreciate it all. We're really doing, and we're really trying our best to, to get this program going in the right direction for them. More important, you know, our fans deserve it, and our university deserves it. And we're gonna get there. We're not gonna, we're not gonna quit. Um, we're gonna stick to the plan. Uh, it's a great plan, and we're gonna carry out that plan vigorously and, and see through we get it right. You know, it's not over, and our goals are still there. That's if there's one positive about it, this game is, is that. You know, this. First season is over with. We're only, it was only three in that season. Now we're starting to see. We got to go out and take care of our business. Does the bye week come in a good time? Oh, yeah, it does. You know, and it gives us a really good opportunity to really evaluate and get every single position. You know, and coaches evaluate themselves too. You know, we got to make sure that we're doing what's best for our guys and we're putting that guys in the right position. And, and then once we do that, our guys got to take care of their business. What do you do now for the next couple of days and for the, really the next week? We're going to grind. We're going to grind. We're going to grind. We're going to grind. We're going to work. That's the only way. That's the only way we're going to get better. The only way we get better is we work. You know, to sit around and pout and put your head down. That's not. We've been doing that for the longest. That's not going to make us better. You know, and um, we're going to, like I said, roll our sleeves up, get back to work, and, and uh, get this thing going. You know, like I said before, I believe in this team. I'm not going to give up on it. I hope everyone else don't eat, you know, and I know it's hard. 
I know it's really hard. And again, giving up is not going to make you better. It's not going to make us better. You know, we got to keep fighting. Everybody. I hope our fans and everyone else stay with us. You know, and if they don't, again, that's understandable. But um, we still got to play a ball game. We got still got to show up, and, and we will do that. We Coach, love them all. Sorry. Coach, you mentioned how some of the players they just don't know how to win. I guess at this point, this is kind of the game that you look at in the circle and say. That's a win. That's a game where we can definitely try to, you know, obviously you want to win all of them, but this is a game where you're counting on to win to get to the FCS team. Going now against the Sun Valley, I guess, what do you do and what, what can you do in practice to sort of get it in their the players' mindsets to get that winning mentality? Oh, we just got to do things better than what we're doing. I, again, I think what's hurting us is, is the fundamental part of it, you know, um, and not tackling and, and turning the ball over. You know, those things are killing us right now, and we got to get better at that, you know, and, and doing what we do is do it better. that on the coaching staff for not teaching the fundamentals well enough for the players not executing the fundamentals it's, or coaches have taught? It's executing. We, like I said a minute ago, we put in work because of what we saw last week. We worked our tails off of um, tackling drills and, and trying not to turn the ball over. But uh, it happened. For whatever reason it was, um, it happened. And again, we're going to keep stressing. We're going to keep working on it. And we're going to get better at it. Let's take one more. Hey, Coach, um, what was your decision to uh, go with uh, – Jesse Roy over Casey Tinius. Well, he had a better week of practice. Is he going to, I mean, is that going to be a week by week assessment, or do you think you know, this is your guy going on? Uh, I would say he's the guy in the long run. We'll see. It was best. We're going to see how he did today. Um, I know he missed the extra point. There, but um, we'll see as the week goes on. We feel like we got to take care of him. Hopefully, we can find one that's going to be consistent for us and keep it going.